Yo, what's good, John? Today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to display values to a GUI. I apologize if I sound like a little low or a little hard to understand. I just woke up, woke up not too long ago. But yeah, I just wanted to record this video because I actually forgot to last night. But anyway, so the video actually was kind of requested to me a while ago. I think I just forgot to um record it and stuff. It's not necessarily a really small video and stuff, but at the same time, I know a lot of people they kind of struggle with it, like when they're like new to scripting and stuff. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so when I say display a value to a GUI, I'm talking like you have a text label right here that says like I don't know, maybe like the amount of XP you have, right? Like maybe you have like 5,000 XP and then it says out of, I don't know, 10,000 XP, you know, to get your next level, to get to the next level, right? That's what you want to say displaying a value. So you guys know how you, how like you can have um number values or int values or even bool values, uh, like parents to tier, uh, the player, right? Like in the leader stats and stuff, right? It's pretty much leader stats, right? You can display that two GUIs as well like you know how like you'll have a text label that says the amount of cash you have you can do that and I'm gonna show you guys okay so first things first let's head over to start a GUI insert a screen GUI we first get to get right with our GUI so we'll say we'll call this display GUI right actually no we'll call this bank GUI the example I'm gonna use for this video is I'm gonna show you how to, like I'm gonna like show you like how to display we'll say money right just as an example bank GUI like Showing like your bank account, we'll say, right? So then we'll have a text label. Uh, we'll have like our money right here. I don't know why I always go for like the lower area, but bold, rich text, text labels, and then we can we we don't need to put anything for the text because we're gonna set it with the script. Then we can come up here and then make it, I don't know like like a black, like black, yeah, and then um. The text color, make it green. You know, we talk the money, you feel me? And then we can come down here and I guess we'll just use a nice font. I just be going with random fonts to be real with y'all. But anyway, we can name the text label uh, amount label, right? And then what we can do is go here to service, service insert a service script. Now here we need leader stats, right? This is honestly just a placeholder, just so you guys can just see how you would like use like stats, right? <coughs> so we'll just call this leader stats script, right? And then we'll just quickly make some leader stats real quick. You feel me? We can do game dot players dot player added connect function plr local leader stats is equal to Instance that new folder leader stats dot oh sorry leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats local cache is equal to instance dot new number value then parent it to the leader stats folder then cache dot name is equal to cache cache dot value is equal to zero right i'm not gonna add in like data saving i could really add that in real quick but i don't really see a purpose for that just, I'm, I'm just showing you guys how to display it right now what we could really do is we could do an event like um, i don't think you can do like cache.change i oh, know you can't okay so we could do cache.change right so Let's change the name of this actually, because I because I forgot. If we I'm so used to naming it leader stats. If we have so okay, so a little thing is if you want to have values under a player, but you don't want it to show up on like the top right where it says like your username, then like cash or whatever, then you can't name this leader stats. So we'll call this um I don't know um we'll literally call this folder we'll, or no we'll call this leader stats folder i think the name yeah i think the name i don't think i don't think it'll work since we changed the name like that but anyway so then we could use a remote event with this we could really use a remote event which honestly is probably the better thing to do mm, yeah i think honestly it's like it's the better thing to do so here's what we'll do right insert a local script into the uh, text label right because remember we want to change this we wanted to display only this player's amount of money right We'll delete that. 
let's go ahead and create a remote event and then let's do update update value event right and then do local update value event is equal to begin the replicated storage that update value event right so then we'll do up here we'll, we will do cache dot change connect function and then this is the value we'll say new value right this is the updated value then we will go up here do enter come back up here then do the same thing we just did in the local script local update value event is equal to game the replicate storage that update value event then when it changes of the value event fire client plr and yeah there we go oh yes and then let me also send over the new value and then we can do it like this see now you could do a way i used to do it but i'm but obviously i know like you want to kind of avoid using while loops like at least like while to do loops you kind of want to like to like in terms of like performance right what i used to do is just do while true do script dot parent dot text is equal to uh local player you know like gainer players local player uh that thing whatever but instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna use we're gonna do this every single time it updates which kind of you know it makes performance better you feel me so let's do update value event dot on client event connect function and then it'll send over the new value and then we are going to say script dot parent dot text is equal to new value well actually no we're gonna say mm, money amount or no cash then we'll put a space and da, da, da. yeah cash is equal to that so this is how we're setting the text like you feel me like via the script so then we can just say this is our money display script <laughs> so yeah now i'm not sure actually i could really test this real quick i'm gonna test it real quick i'm not sure if this will work like since we're just now starting it's like we don't really have a okay yeah see so yeah, see I didn't I didn't think it would work right off the bat. I didn't think it would work. But hold on though. What we can do is we can have we can have this run one time, right? Like we'll do player dot player gy uh, well no player dot player gy uh, okay, I don't know how to spell player dot player gy bank gy I think it already be loaded, but I'm not sure. Let me write amount label dot text, and then we can really just we can really just do this. Except like obviously not the new value. You would just do um player. You would just do player dot cash dot value, right? You would just do it like that. So you could set it upon the person joining. You feel me? You set it upon the person joining, right? Oh. For some reason that didn't work. Make sure you guys never. Oh, uh, yes, I thought so. I thought so. We have to do player dot player gy wait for child bank gy. Yeah, I thought so. Now, right now, obviously, I wouldn't recommend literally doing it just like this. But this is just a just general example of how you would go about it. Cash is not a valid number of players. That's what it is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like I said, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Leaders, that's folder okay all right that remember the correct script will be in the description but anyway we got on here yeah but what the fuck wait i'm so confused right now where is it leader says footer i don't remember that oh shit oh wait oh my god i this entire time, I literally forgot. That's so crazy. This entire time, I forgot to parent it to the player. That's so fucking crazy. I did have that wrong, but... Okay, there we go, there we go. Alrighty. Actually, um, I don't know if I need that, but anyway. Anyway, yeah, so here's our cache, right? If I go to the server and then I change it on the server, change it to, like, 200, you feel me? Boom. 
it fired the remote event because the value of it changed, right? Then it, then it changed, it updated the text, to then cache new value, which is of course 200, which is what I set it to. Now on the client, this wouldn't work, because keep in mind, it looks for changes on the server, since this is a server script. If I try changing the amount of money I had on the client, that obviously isn't gonna do anything because this is on the client and not on the server. I didn't even mean to do that, but yeah. So, but yeah, that's how you uh, display values to GUIs. And so, I hope this video was helpful. Leave a like and subscribe if it was. Uh, I will leave both of these scripts in the description. And so, if you guys need any help, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for all this love and support you've been showing me. Let's get to 360 subscribers, and yeah, I'll see you guys.